Hello everyone and Merry Christmas! I figured I'd give everyone a nice Christmas gift with another episode of Under the Skin, a web series where I take a look at the references behind the Battlefield 1 Legendary Skins. I'm Christopher, the video game historian, and with this episode, I'm going to take a look at the Bolkariva skin for the Mosin Nagant, the Hunter skin for the Autoloading 835, the Black Watch skin for the SMLE, and finally, the Lemore Ohm skin for the Jorgen Inertial. Starting off is the Bolkariva skin for the Mosin Nagant. This skin is named after Marie Bolkariva, the founder of the Women's Battalion of Death during World War I. Born in 1889 in Oblast, she was the third daughter of a peasant family. Growing up, she not only suffered abuse from her alcoholic father, but the two men she would end up marrying would also abuse her. She left her first husband, Afonzi Bolkariva, whom she worked with at a construction yard due to him physically abusing her. She would leave him to remarry another man who also ended up being abusive, but this time she would leave him and join the army. She was enlisted into the 25th Reserve Battalion in 1914, and despite facing sexual harassment and ridicule from her fellow soldiers, they would in time begin to respect her. Throughout the course of the war, she would creep into no man's land over 100 times to rescue wounded soldiers, for which she was decorated three times for. After the Tsar abdicated his throne, she would petition Alexander Kerensky in creating a women's battalion. Within a month, the battalion had nearly 300 women who were all fighting their first battle near Smorgan. When the Bolsheviks rose to power, she was heavily opposed to them, which put her life in danger. Her battalion was disbanded and afterwards, she fled from Russia to seek help abroad. She would return in late 1918 in hopes of forming another women's army to fight the Bolsheviks but this ultimately failed. She would be captured, stripped of her uniform, and eventually executed by firing squad in 1920. I'm sure that the hunter skin can refer to more than just one thing. However, I'm gonna say that it refers to Lieutenant General Hunter Leggett, partly because he's from my hometown. Born March 21st, 1857 in Reading, Pennsylvania, he would go on to graduate West Point in 1879 and was swiftly assigned to the 5th Infantry as 2nd Lieutenant. Over the course of the next 30 years, he'll advance through the ranks to Lieutenant Colonel in 1909 after being sent to the Philippines in 1899 with the 31st Infantry Volunteers. In 1911, Liggett will be given command of the 4th Brigade's 2nd Division in Texas City, Texas, and in 1916, he'll be sent to the Philippines once again for a one-year tour with the Provisional Infantry Brigade. When the U.S. entered the war in 1917, it was Liggett who took command of the 41st Division from Camp Fremont who were deployed to France. By January 1918, when the U.S. soldiers were being mobilized in France, General Pershing created the 1st American Army Corps, which consisted of Leggett's 41st. Leggett would be placed in command of the 1st Corps, which fought at Belle Isle Woods, Cantigny, the Marne on both the offensive and defensive end, and was there in the Argonne Forest when the Germans were beaten. After the war, he would return to the States, where he would retire from service in 1921 and passed away in 1935. The Black Watch skin for the short magazine Lee Enfield Rifle is a reference to the Royal Highlanders Regiment that served in World War I. Originally, they were first raised in 1715 during the Jacobite Rebellion in Scotland as the English lacked the resources to have a standing army in the Scottish Highlands to keep order and clan loyalty. It was in 1725 that six companies were recruited from the clans of Campbell, Grant, Fraser, and Monroe, whose purpose was to prevent fighting between clans, raiding, and essentially to be a law enforcement organization. They were originally known as the Regiment of the Line, but by 1740 were renamed to the 43rd Highland Regiment of Foot, then renumbered to the 42nd in 1741. Due to their dark tartan patterns, this regiment became known as the Black Watch. They will fight in various conflicts up to World War I, such as the American Revolution, the Seven Years' War, and the Anglo-Boer War, just to name a few. In the Great War, 
after being merged with the 73rd Perthshire Regiment in 1881, they would raise 25 battalions which fought at the Marne, Passchendaele, Haysbrook, the Selle, Ypres, Saint Quentin, as well as in the Mediterranean and the Balkans. By war's end, they were awarded 25 battle honors and 4 Victoria Crosses, losing a total of 8,000 men. The final skin, Le Mort Homme for the Jurgen Inertial, refers to the hill along the western bank of the Meuse River at the Battle of Verdun, the Le Mort Homme or the Dead Man's Hill. During the battle, the French controlled Cote 304 and Le Mort Homme, while the Germans struggled to capture both hills from their positions at the base of these two points. They were able to capture Bois de Corbeau, but were quickly forced to retreat from that position after a French counterattack reclaimed that territory. Between March 9th and April 9th, this hill saw at least three repeated attacks by the Germans to gain control over it and each time were repelled by the French defenses. Even the German General Galwitz saw it pointless to attack Le Mort Homme without first taking Cote 304. Finally on May 3rd, the Germans after taking Cote 304 were able to make one last attack for this hill. Despite resistance from the French, the Germans were able to take the hill as the French were forced to withdraw due to heavy casualties and a severe lack of food and water. Throughout the battle, nearly 10,000 men were killed trying to take or defend this hill. Wounded were left to die where they were and many were buried alive from the heavy bombardments. The smell of death and decay simply lingered around the air between both armies during the battle. That's all for this week's episode. Hopefully you all enjoyed it and if so, please like the video, subscribe to my channel, and leave your comments down below. Don't forget to follow me on social media with Twitter and Facebook, and if you'd like to play with or against me and others deemed the best of the worst, then check out the Forum Feelers Platoon on Xbox One, PS4, and PC. I hope you all have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year, and until next time, I will see you on the battlefield.